Greetings. Welcome to Father Kevin's Corner. I'm Father Kevin. This is my corner. I'm happy to talk to you today about another aspect of Jesuit spirituality. At the end of the spiritual exercises, St. Ignatius invites us to uh, pray for uh, contemplating to attain the love of God. Now, we're always given the love of God, but can I get it more? So there's a four-step process, uh, and it takes a long time. I've been doing it for 20-some years, and I'm still not there because it's a journey, it's a process. Uh, each step, each part of the process starts the same way. Ignatius would want us to remember that love shows itself more in actions than in deeds. So as I'm looking for love and the love of God, what am I doing? What is my action? And if I can begin with that, then I start with the first step. First step is paying attention to God's presence and the gifts that God gives us in my day-to-day -day life. That's work because I don't normally see it. But as I was walking over here today, just looking at the various pictures at Creighton Prep in our hallways, or here, I noticed this morning, uh, there's a statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary up on the wall. And the Jesus is crucified, hanging in midair. What awesome experiences for us to notice uh, different things in our lives. God's gift to us of the Blessed Mother. God's gift to us of Jesus. What about God's gift to us of a warm cup of coffee that I was able to have this morning because somebody else made it? What a bonus! I didn't have to make coffee. One of my brother Jesuits did for me. Do I notice those things as God's gift to me? As I'm walking through the world, as I'm tripping over our friend Champ, our little labradoodle in the community, his smile and his laughter and his way, that's a gift from God. Can I work at noticing those things as gifts from God? The first step is learning how to do that more and more as we walk through our day. The second step is then recognizing another gift that God has given us, the gift of Jesus, the gift of Jesus in our life. We spend time trying to understand who Jesus is, we spend time trying to understand how Jesus is with us, and we learn that from the Gospels. So can I enjoy the story from the Gospels to learn about Jesus and recognize that Jesus is a gift of God to us? The third step then is that Jesus, I'm sorry, that God is working for us to notice his love. He labors in our world. He is participating in everything I do and say in every relationship that I have with him and with other people. That's the third step of this process. The more I can work at noticing uh, the beauty of the world and how it's intricate and works and how the beauty of Jesus and that God is working so that we can notice it more. The fourth step is then trying to uh, bring that to others. What can I do to bring that love to other people, the people I meet, the people I know, the people that I love? Can I work with God in the process of bringing love to others? With all of that and the process that that is, uh, our God, our St. Ignatius invites us to end each prayer session, each moment, each try with the same prayer, and it's the sushi pay. It's the prayer that says, take Lord and receive all my memory, my understanding, my entire being. You gave it all to me. I return it to you, God. Give me only your love and your grace. That's enough for me. Your love and your grace. The more I can notice his love, the greater I'll be filled in this day-to-day -day life to bring that love for others. And really, that's what God wants for us anyway, isn't it? To be in his loving arms with and for all other people. Let's ask God's blessing upon us so that we can bring that love to everybody we meet each and every day. God bless. Enjoy your day.